What is up guys, welcome to today's video. Behind me you guys see the painted calipers, which is gonna be in part two with the KBP build, so stay tuned for that. I don't know if this video is gonna be up first or not. The Brembo is looking sick, but we'll leave that alone for now. The car's warming up and we're about to make the trip all the way to Hillsboro to Hilto. So if you guys don't know what Hilto is, Hilto Automotive, the big online store that sells a ton of stuff for our cars. And this thing needs some parts. They reached out saying they wanted to help, but the things that I wanted for the car, they couldn't really help on, but I still needed them. And yeah, so we talked about it a little bit in the past videos, and that was all the information I gave you guys. I learned covering up two makes it a little quieter. If I cover up all four of them, they just fly out. See that? I love seeing her in the morning though. She is so clean and shiny. Let's explain real quick, guys. The problem with Portland right here is I need gas. I'm in a hurry and no one's coming to fill up because you're not allowed to touch the thing yourself. Some fine, if you were to touch and start doing your fill yourself because if something were to happen, it'd be on you. So all you can do is open up your gas lid and wait for someone to come fill this thing up. Which is busy doing people's cans over there got ourselves something to eat some drink and we got a 43 minute drive ahead of us so we'll see you guys when we get there all right just shut up guys we're like 15 minutes late but it's all right this is where all the magic happens guys behind that wall that oem visors and the new oem intake grab one of those too oh that's it yeah those are pretty i'm pretty proud of these shirts making the viewers jealous that's the whole idea, right? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we're here with Marcus right here with Heel Toe. You're the owner, right? Yeah, that's yeah. it. So we've been talking for like the last 45 minutes. Yeah, it's been a minute. Just talking about parts and things coming out, their website and everything like that. Uh, definitely check out their website. Link's gonna be in the description below if you guys don't know about it. You wanna give them some details about the website yeah, and like how it works and stuff? Yeah, heeltoeauto.com. I've been online for uh, almost 20 years, coming up on it, 20, uh, 2002. Honda and Acura parts from day one and yeah. uh, we've never got away from it. Yeah, when the third gen TL came out, actually we, <laughs> we dipped into Acura more than Honda. And so we've been supporting uh, on AcuraZine and, and other forums for that whole time, since for at forever. least 06, 07. Yeah. Oh, we've yeah. got the ATLP brand, that's one of our in-house, Fastline Performance. And so, yeah, even now the third gen TL is strong and uh, you know, I'm happy to support those things as yeah. much as we can. Yep, so they've been here since the beginning. They're the OGs with this stuff. He's yeah. the one with the clean TSX outside, you guys saw, we'll walk out there and show you guys again. Nice. But we just got our parts right here. We're actually gonna be ordering some more parts because I want OEM visors for the black TL. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you, man. Yeah, man. Appreciate thank it. you. Thanks for coming through. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So, like, I don't know if he still has that red car, but. Yeah. I just threw these wheels on, actually. Rig yeah. Masters. That's the latest edition. Jay's racing hood. I like the paint, huh? The Medulo bumper. Yeah, this is a custom paint job. Bordeaux red. Bordeaux red. Yeah, from like a 94, 97 Honda Accord. Ricardo seats. Yeah, I uh, just did my interior. Did a black conversion. It was tan. So. Those look comfortable. Dude, they're deep. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty aggressive. It's almost like having buckets. I like that. Yeah. I was, Cause I'm thinking about getting the seat covers for mine. Yeah. Since I'm not really making like the fastest build, yeah. And I like the diamond stitch. Uh huh. But I I, maybe for my next my next build, I put custom seats. I'm in. a racing guy, you know. I'm a I'm like into track stuff, so. Yeah, this is Carving like identical to TL. Yeah, <laughs> the rear and everything. The same, yeah. Oh yeah. Yours is all black though, which I like. Yeah. Got the hip on the back. Muga. Yeah, That's Muga. Clean. It's got the full Muga kit. I was this hard to find? What's that? Was it hard to get a hold of it? I got one of the last sets that they had. Okay. Yeah, I was lucky to get one of the last. I got the last bumper that they had. 
And uh, these wings, they had a few more, but that's really clean. Yeah, I'm stoked I got it when I did. Here are our tail lights. These are smoked out. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's fresh. I'd whip that for sure. Yeah, dude, it's fun. It's got 145,000 miles on it, so okay. it looks pretty stock. But we saw these Samco tubes, and I got the CT carbon ice box, Type R manifold, okay. the RRC manifold. But you can see it used to be black. <laughs> yeah. Um, I feel like you can tinker with these more than the TL. Dude, you could do so much. Yeah. Yeah. This is like an Integra setup. Yeah, pretty it's much. With K24, yeah. so, you know, it's... Uh, Everyone puts these in the Integra. Yeah, least. exactly. Yeah. Or they'll do, like, an Accord engine with a Type, yeah. type S head or whatever. Um, Are those aftermarket uh, mounts? Yeah, innovative mounts. What's the what's the big difference? I want to look into getting some. Yeah, so the factory mounts, they're like a hollow rubber. Yeah. And there's, like, a fluid inside. And uh, there's actually a vacuum solenoid that goes to it, so that when you're on and off the gas, the engine mounts kind of get firm or soft, depending on how you're beating it on the car. Okay. But the other thing is, is they isolate a lot of sound and vibration. Um, but then they also break. These polyurethane mounts, which are a lot stronger, the engine moves around a lot less, so you get less wheel hop. Gotcha. They're really launching it or whatever. You don't get that. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's better for. So you, can you feel the difference when you step on it too? You can feel it when you get yeah. on it because it feels like the power is going right to the ground. Yeah. Right? Um, and then when you shift, same thing. Right? Gotcha. It feels like the power is going straight to. The drawback is you get a, get a lot more noise and vibration in okay. the cabin. Gotcha. And some people don't really care. I mean, you'll see people online all day long. Oh, it's not that bad. You hardly notice it. And when you're actually cruising along, it's less noticeable. You guys sell them on the side? Oh yeah, okay, we I'll usually keep out. them in stock. That's it guys, we just went back inside and had to, had to get back to work, but I really just wanna say thank you to Marcus over here at Hilltop for working with me and wanting to make this community always better. So he's been serving us guys for so long. I don't know if he mentioned this earlier, but the way their website is set up is like you make your own garage and then when you go to search for parts, it's just for your car. So if you have a TL, you can put 2004, 2008, put in all your information and then you have your set garage, you make an account on their thing and it's so easy to find parts on their thing. So definitely check them out if you guys are interested in parts. Literally 40 minutes away from my place. So we're definitely gonna be working together and in the future. So. Stay tuned for those. We've been on the road for a couple of hours now, guys. We just made it to Mexico. So, you already know what goes down to Mexico. All right, we just made it home, guys. I'm not gonna lie, that was a long drive from Mexico, but it was definitely worth it for that nice pull. Check it out, though. We got the cover on the window and protecting the dash. Um, absolutely love it. Perfect fit, everything. And don't have to worry about a super hot interior. I got tent all the way around, and this is gonna keep my dash and everything cool. So, highly recommend it. I got it from uh, uh, Covercraft. That's what it was called. We got the pickup right here. Huge shout out again to Hilto. It was great to meet them. He hooked me up with these shirts as you guys saw. And you guys already know I want the RV6 cat back to come back, but he hooked me up with the ATLP shirt right here. So I'm so hyped about this and so hyped to work with them in the future. So definitely give them a follow on Instagram, YouTube, and uh, check out their website, order something. You guys are probably wondering why we got this V2 intake. Man, the birds are always chirping throughout the whole day here, so you gotta get used to it. But we got the V2 intake to put onto the black TL. So what I was gonna do is actually take this one and put it onto this car right here. I think it would look really good in the engine bay. But what I forgot was inside of my container over there or my little cabinet over there, I still have the OEM intake for this one. And I think OEM is always better when trying to sell a car. So I'm thinking I'm just gonna put the OEM one on there and put this one up for sale or maybe do a giveaway for you guys. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna install it today. The only reason for that is we're in the middle of working on the KBP and putting the brakes back on and filming that video as well. Thank you guys for watching today's video. My TL looks so good right now. I can't stop looking at this. Like, look at this paint correction work. That's so good for black in the sun. You guys don't even know how many cuts I did because it was cold outside when I did it. Like, oh my.
that's like and like there's still there's dirt i don't want to touch it really but there's still dirt on it if you guys could see that swipe i just did there's like pollen all over right now but it's just so clean before i let you guys go all the way make sure you guys hit that like button hit the subscribe button if you guys aren't already and check out the links down in the description at Hilto and we'll see you in the next one later.